I think the first thing is to understand why PSA can be elevated. Um, it can be elevated from non-cancerous causes such as just enlargement of the prostate gland which happens to all men uh, starting at about age 40 and also from infection. So the first thing I would do is uh, see if you've uh, had any recent changes in your urinary symptoms which could be indicative of infection. If so, ask your family doctor uh, to treat the infection and then repeat the PSA. If it's staying elevated, then going on to a biopsy you know, is a reasonable option, but there's plenty of cases where we'll repeat the PSA and it's back down uh, to a more normal range and, the, and we don't have to do anything uh, but follow it. PSA is a protein that's specific to the prostate, so it stands for prostate-specific antigen. Antigen, just another word for protein. Uh, this protein is secreted by prostate cells. Now, normally, there's a small amount of this protein circulating in the bloodstream. Under certain instances, however, the cells can break open and spill more, and one of those circumstances is prostate cancer, as is infection, as I mentioned earlier, or just enlargement of the gland. A large gland, obviously, there's more cells, so there's going to be more of this in the, in the bloodstream. I don't do a patient any service by biopsying them and finding a low-grade cancer if it doesn't need to be treated. And to that end, older patients, we really tend to shy away from, uh, from biopsying and try to be very selective in who we biopsy based on PSA trends, family history, etc. Um, if you do biopsy a patient um, and they have low-grade disease, education is the first thing. Um, letting them understand that this is not uh, a type of cancer that tends to behave aggressively. They do have time to uh, really become educated as far as what treatment options are. Um, I always recommend second opinions to folks um, and really gather as much information as they can to make the best choice for them. When you are told that you have an elevated PSA is to realize that the vast majority of cases uh, it's not due to prostate cancer. Uh, so try to keep your anxiety uh, in check until you have a reason to worry. Um, again, repeating the PSA is the first thing to do to make sure that uh, the number is truly elevated uh, and then proceed from there.